Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna be diving into a little bit of mystical agriculture and getting some other fun things done. So, I hope you guys are ready. All right, this, this may sound crazy, but hear me out, all right? How about storage, compacting, and organization? That's what I wanna get started with today. Um, and then another thing I also wanna get started with is making some steel. I've technically already done it, already kind of made a superheater down here. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I jumped in and got some steel made. Uh, all you gotta do is crush up some coal. Super simple if you've already gotten to thermal series. Of course, you can do this for mechanism. I think this way is a little bit easier. Um, and then you can throw it inside the induction smelter uh, with some iron. So all I gotta do is grab some iron, toss that in there with some coal dust. That is going to use two coal dust and make steel, which is, Technically the same process that mechanism goes through. Um, I also went ahead and upgraded this and this and added the uh, the flux linkage amplifier. Of course, I should be able to add three of them in here and to make this even faster along with the upgrade itself. Um, yeah, so instead of like upgrading the machine, the casing, the outside, you just upgrade it from the inside, which is a little bit different. But yeah, look at all this steel. So we definitely should be able to get the lava going. You can see this thing is full. All of my lava for the most part is full. I'm gonna upgrade this one over here um, and do the exact same. We're gonna make the linkage. Let's go ahead and grab the four and superheater, right? Super heating element just requires a steel casing and a little bit of copper. And this is incredibly fast. So we pop that on there, break this and it's 60 times, which is gonna be three times as fast as our current setup, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, now we do need to take this and make sure that that is pulling and of course make sure that that uh, You know feeds into this the only problem I'm having with these cables at the moment is They're not fast enough as you can see to fill um, th They're really not fast enough. I don't think to keep up with, all, with everything um, at the moment This can only pull 50 millibuckets every tick Which I mean is it might be enough But I have noticed when this goes under uh, strain like when it has a lot of work going through it or through all of my other stuff along with this, it can start to run out of lava. So this will be an upgrade that I maybe want to maybe, I don't know, move today and, and get it away from the, the top here. Maybe move it down uh, and start working on some wireless power. I think that's probably gonna be a good idea as well. Okay, anyways, um, so now that I have a bunch of iron, let's grab that. Storage drawers, um, I wanna continue working on this. This is just gonna make things look a little bit nicer. Um, and I, I've already done the math. I'm gonna need about 12 of these. Later on, of course, we would, uh, 15 would be better, um, but we're not really gonna have the space for 15 at the moment. <sighs> They're not compacting. That's an issue. You know what, I'm not gonna dwell on it too much. At least with these, we can use them later because this is the exact amount of ingots that we get from these ores. So I'll take these for later, later use. We could definitely use them later on. Uh, for right now, though, I've got some more work to do. I've got to take all of these and place them back. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I mean, potentially, cardboard box from uh, Mechanism would let me, like, place and pick, but I still have to break them, right? So I guess this still is a, a pretty decent way of doing it. So in the quest, um, I, I just, <laughs> just realized this. On the quest for the sieves, well, uh, <laughs> these are name tags that you get, and, uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, name tag a few folk here. <laughs> Look at that. Definitely putting them to work. <laughs> These are all, all the mods uh, dev team right here, <laughs> which I, I definitely love. Oh man, <laughs> especially you. You're, you're gonna work hard. You know what? Work harder. <laughs> So I've been talking about this wireless power thing for a little while and well, it, it, it is nice to get into if we take a look at flux networks. Um, this mod I definitely want to get into. I absolutely love this mod and uh, it's going to provide us with wireless power, which are wireless power transfers in some sort of fashion. It's definitely a great mod to get into and I think we have the ability to do it. Now I do need a fair amount of obsidian. Um, Ender pearls pretty much have that covered. Um, we are getting them uh, courtesy of our automated uh, automated sieves and stuff. 
Um, and we're also getting blaze powder. So all of that is pretty much covered. Now we just need obsidian. So in my inventory, I have a, a pretty decent setup, I think, for gathering obsidian. Um, and it shouldn't be too difficult to set this up. Um, let me think. I want to probably place it over here. Now the cobble gin, I want to use an item pipe to feed that into the barrel. Oh, we're also going to need a superheating element. Almost forgot about that. Um, that is going to make this thing go a little bit quicker. I could use other method. I, I think this one, you know, we have the ability to make this. Why not go ahead and make the superheating? Perfect. So we have the cobble gin. I think the only other thing we're going to need is another fired crucible. And now that I think about it, I don't think I have the, the clay for this. <laughs> but I'm going to, because all I got to do is fill this with water. Bam, I have some clay. And I think two of them should be enough for right now. One unfired crucible ready to go, or I should say fire crucible, not unfired. Um, and let's go ahead and place it, I guess here will be a good spot. I'm trying to think, um, this will go behind it, superheating element. And then we need to transfer the lava into the barrel. So we're actually gonna need the fluid pipe to transfer that. Shouldn't be too horribly difficult to set up. Let's get the superheating element. Let's figure out where we want this. Probably gonna place that there. Perfect. We'll place the crucible on top. And then I wish this would pump to the item below, but it does not. It goes to the, uh, the top. It exports from the top. So I should be able to set that up. Perfect, and now this right here needs to send lava into my stone barrel, which we left up top. There we go. And then we're gonna need some uh, some slabs. Don't ha They don't have to be fancy or anything. We could do glass, I guess. I'm just gonna use slabs. That should work. Uh, because we have to fill this with water, of course. So, let's go ahead and get that placed there. Well, actually, that yeah, they can go there. That'll be fine. Um, down here, I'm going to go ahead and place, you know what? I'm going to move this. <laughs> the more I look at it, I'm like, yeah, probably not. I don't want to, I don't want to keep that there. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a drawer. I have one laying around. There we go. Keeping it all matched, right? I have a dark, a dark oak drawer. Um, I'm going to need a hopper. Let's see. We'll place the hopper into the drawer. Like this. Trying to do this like off the top of my head, seeing uh, how well this is gonna work. We'll have the barrel on top. Now we need to get lava into this. What I'm probably gonna do is remove this, scoot this back a little bit. Man, this takes a long time to break. Actually, probably gonna just place it down here. That actually works even better. It's a little bit neater. There we go. Yeah, and then have the fluid pipe going here to here. Like that, filling that with lava. And then uh, on top, we can get the uh, the nice little setup here for our water. And then, of course, we need to be able to get up here. And then I think I have a bucket of water. Yes, I do. Perfect. And we need to place that right there. Now that is going to create obsidian. And we have an obsidian factory. Just like that. So that should start to uh, generate obsidian. So long as we have enough cobblestone to fill this. And uh, it has enough in there to make enough lava. Oh, all the lava is going in here. That's right. Yeah. So we just leave this and over time it's going to start generating obsidian for us. So one thing, you know, now that we have some obsidian, we, we still have a problem. Because if we take a look at the recipe for the uh, flux network, we need this stuff. And to do that, well, we need this because we, we don't have any of this. And I'm saying this because this is a flux block. We don't have a flux block, so we need bedrock, right? We need, we need bedrock. Bed, bedrock. Yes, we, we have a piece of bedrock literally stuck in our base. Um, good thing we have this though, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, so I think I need to break through here. And then I guess I can uh, break this cable and I guess fill this with redstone, like a bunch of redstone. Let's like do like, I, I want like four stacks. Do I have four stacks worth of redstone? I should have so much redstone. Wait a minute. Gotta have, oh yeah, there we go. There's all the redstone. 
Okay, so with all this redstone, uh, we should be able to throw that on there, hopefully, and get this to uh, fall on here. Um, I'm going to try and do it this way. I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm going to throw it all down there. One, two, three, four. Place the obsidian right here, and then right-click it. No? Did I just place obsidian in a really bad spot? Wait a minute. That should work. There's nothing li literally stopping that from working right now. All right, let's 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 get some really easy blocks to break. Maybe I have to be like up near this in order for it to work. No? Like you don't right click it? It does like, oh, that scared me. <laughs> I have, you have to punch it. I, I guess I forgot. <laughs> oh my, why did that scare me so much? I no idea oh man but now that we have this we don't have to do it that way anymore <laughs> oh it, it caught me off guard what a jump scare oh my gosh was not ready for that so now that we have all of that we can go ahead and combine our blaze powder together get ourselves eyes of ender and then start working on making these uh so right off the bat let's go ahead and make a flux block uh we're going to use this for making more of this later on down the road i need to store that in a good location there we go. So we don't have to use the bedrock anymore. Um, but we still need to get ourselves a flux plug. That is one thing we're gonna need. We're also gonna need some flux points and then maybe a flux controller. We don't really have anything in our inventory yet that can be controlled or powered, but it would be a good thing to have. I think for right now, main thing is gonna be flux plug. That is how we're gonna send and create our network. So you can see your flux block and flux plug. Hopefully we can make enough of these. There we go. So a little bit of crafting. We have ourselves a flux plug. And then to uh, send power to things, well, we're gonna need to do this. Make ourselves one of these. Do I have a block? I, of course, never made a block. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> so there is our flux point, and then we have our flux plug. Um, the, the plug is going to be really nice because uh, we get pretty much, I guess, we can minimalize this a little bit. We can get rid of all that cable that is running from the bottom, hopefully, and move it elsewhere. Um, so let's see, let's let's see about this, right? We have power that is flowing into the bottom here, right? And that's gonna be our buffer for right now. Um, let's change the way that this is functioning because right now we have the bottom as an input. Let's make the top an output and let's see if we can't put this plug on here and go to create new network. And then I'll just call this my uh, my main network later on of course you can do whatever you want with it i'm gonna make it orange because of course it's my favorite color uh for you if you're playing on a server make sure you have it set to encrypted and maybe have a password on it um or set it to private so only you can your actual account can access it um for me i'm gonna set it to public because i will have this world uh, download up for you guys so you guys can hop on here and utilize this this power if you want to um i will have that on the patreon every 10 episodes so be sure to check that out if you guys are a patreon you can get that of any tier by the way it's going to create that and then we select it. Now we have to, we definitely have to select it. Now right here, some people uh, you might have an issue with this, but um, by default, it is limited right here. This is the transfer limit that is currently set 800,000 RF per tick. In some cases, of course, you may go over that. So if you want to disable this limit, you can of course disable it here or you can click here to change it if you want to extend it or whatever, make it smaller. It's really useful for making it a, a smaller. Um, and then you also have priorities for how power is sent and, and pulled and things like that, um, which is really useful. So we have that there. Can we do this though? This is what I don't know because I was having problems with the power uh, before. Can I remove it from down here? Like completely disconnect. Technically, we don't even, we don't need this down here anymore. Ooh, let's turn that back on so I'm not losing so many. There we go, like flows right in my hand. All right, can I hook just into the back here and have this now the main point, main access point? I think it looks funny right now, but if I do this, that should technically be pulling, but it's not. Interesting. Here's where I'm going to be switching cables. Um. Yeah, I think these cables are definitely going to be a little bit better. All of these orange cables, adios, uh, because I'm going to be using 
these guys, the basic, the, the universal cables. And those connect. You can see there, they actually connect. I don't know why the other ones are just not uh, connecting. They seem to be having some sort of issue. Um, but hey, these work. These are the ones for mechanism. But these are kind of tried and true, right? Um, I've never really had issues with these particular cables. Plus, they do hold a buffer. And they do have, have a, uh, a nice little buffer to them. I'm also going to need to get power to these guys as well. So currently I'm working on a little bit of uh, an extension. This is going to be where I plan on farming a few things. Um, and I needed this extension. I think I'm going to kind of extend off on uh, all, I guess we'll extend off here and here. This area is probably not going to be extended at all as we have that massive thing. Unless we, you know, eventually that'll be probably compressed down into refined storage. So we might have farms off on all, all sides. I say refined storage, but... It, it all depends. A platinum disc or refined storage doesn't really matter. I think refined storage, though, has some really cool things in this pack as we kind of played with them last time. But uh, I want to go ahead and get this done because I want to dabble a little bit of mystical agriculture. So getting started with some mystical agriculture is not a bad idea, especially since this is a sky block and we're getting so much s like so much uh, essence for for nothing. Um, and we have the ability to pretty much farm this farm a lot of the uh, the stuff for as long as we want. And there's many machines in here that will also farm for us. So let's take a look at uh, what we're gonna need to get into mystical agriculture. So as of right now, it looks like a little bit of red carpet, which isn't gonna be too horrible as we do have this. Um, I am gonna need some bone meal, which I have that stored away in one of these chests. There we go. Uh, because I'm gonna need a little bit more red dye. I think that's uh, it's gonna be pretty nice. And I might as well keep the foliage that we uh, would grow up here as well. Look at that, we got a lot of red dye there. Okay, so that should be perfect. I can now take this. Um, let's see, I think I can dye this individually, right? Oh no, it has to be done this way. Oh, that makes it even easier. Perfect. Um, and yeah, we're gonna need red carpet and a little bit of gold. That's basically all we're going to need. Some stone. And we do need, I believe, eight altars. If I remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're gonna need eight of these. As you can see, I only have enough for four. Just, I think we're just lacking on a little bit of carpet. And four more? Four more. There we go. Um, so this is a, uh, we're also gonna need a, uh, some redstone as well. Um, just a little bit of redstone. How about a button? That tends to get the job done for this. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, a button or a lever will work, uh, but we need, do need a way to activate um, this. And you also see you have the pedestal mod up here. Shh, I'm not, I'm not into that yet. We'll get into that here in a second. Um, what I want to make, though, is a dirt seed. Uh, the dirt seed is going to be for dirt. We're going to have Inferium Essence, and we're also going to need a Prosperity Seed, um, which comes from all of our Prosperity Shards. And we have all of this uh, available. So go ahead and make the Prosperity she uh, Seed, and I have my Inferium Essence down here. The only other thing I need is the dirt. There we go. We have some dirt. Dirt is kind of a pain to farm. As you can see, I accidentally turned this into the wrong thing. It's because I was farming a lot of dirt. And I just basically placed down a bunch of barrels and just farmed a tree right here for like 10 to 20 minutes, like uh, just to get enough dirt to fill this area in. And look, oh, we have our first, our first creeper. Yes, please. I was, you know, what if there was like a crazy mod in here that made creepers incredibly awful? Oh God. And I would have made the worst mistake by running up to it. All right, let's get the final blow. Wow, and we got a catalyzing gland from that. I mean, honestly, I should probably make a mob farm. I totally forgot that catalyzing glands are so powerful. These things are great because you can get gas tears from them. They they produce, uh, I mean, all the stuff from Reliquary. Why do I not have a mob farm yet? What is wrong with me? Anyways, um, enough with that. Let's go ahead and set this up. Um, it's not too crazy to do. We're going to place this down, and it even shows us where to place the pedestals so you can't it can't beat that it's it's really really nice that this does this um because otherwise it'd be kind of confusing i think the only confusing part though about this mod is not specifically telling you somewhere um well i would say specifically telling you but it does say right here activate with redstone um th that's the only problem like it, when you place it down if you didn't catch this maybe it needs to be like some different color or something like red or or something um that's the only thing that maybe would confuse people, but 
shoot, you guys are watching me. You guys aren't aren't dumb. You guys, you guys are getting it done. And uh, so to get it done, we're gonna go ahead and place the dirt and make our first dirt seed. And this is gonna be pretty nice, so I don't have to constantly farm dirt, right? Place the prosperity in the center and uh, button on the bottom and hit that button and that is going to activate this thing. And look at that. Look at that, we got ourselves a dirt seed. Perfect, now this thing is gonna grow pretty slow. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not fast uh, at all. Um, let's see, I'm gonna place it right here because I think we're gonna kind of speed this thing up a little bit. Because yeah, right now it's, it's pretty slow, bone mill doesn't work on it. It, it, there's no great way to speed it up, right? Well, the pedestals mod is actually kind of nice when it comes to that. Right here is a fertilizer upgrade. And uh, this bad boy is, from what I've seen, is pretty sick uh, with what it can do. And it's not expensive to make at all, right? We just need a pedestal, bam, and we throw that upgrade on it. And it, it, it even like uh, speeds up, I believe, things that are in the little botany pots. So if you're interested in doing that, it'll speed up stuff in botany pots. It's kind of crazy, and it works in a little 3x3 three three area. So we throw this on here, look at it. It is going to town on this thing. And of course you can make this even bigger later on. This is uh pretty nice. Like this is a quick way to grow your crops. And like I said, it does work in the botany pots. So these seeds are going to be growing pretty quick once we get a few things set up here. And look at that. We're able to harvest our first dirt essence. Um, and now to get dirt from this, we are going to need a few essence for this. Like you can see right here, we're gonna need at least eight of them um, to make 24 dirt, but that's still a lot. And once we have this automated, we're not gonna really have to worry about it too much. So let's go ahead and make that botany pot that I was talking about, right? Because um, there are, there's a few things that we can do. Um, I've, I wanna test out a few things with you guys, because I did know last time I played around with these, there was a way to sort of automate these. Now, you might be thinking, why don't you make, just make it a hopping one, right? Well, the hopping one, it's um, its a little bit more difficult, right? Uh, because there, this is what you need to get the hopping one, right? You need to go completely through Pneumaticraft, that's one option, or go completely through Batania, that's another. Well, semi through Batania. I think this is the easier one to make, is the one from Batania. This one takes a lot more time, I would think, than this. You know, especially since getting coal is pretty simple. This one is just a bit more time consuming because making these printed circuit boards, well, let's just say they're not the easiest thing in the world to make. Um, but there are other ways that we might be able to automate this. So there's a mod in here that you might be familiar with if you've played Sky Factory 4, because this was when I was first introduced with this was from Sky Factory 4. Um, and this requires diorite, right? And um, well, we have a little bit of diorite. I don't think we have enough. Now, I don't know, okay, so we can actually make diorite, which is good, because I was wondering, how do we just make diorite? Well, apparently we do it this way. Okay, so diorite done. We just need a, a chorus flower, and I have plenty of chorus flowers, right? That's kind of cool, though, that like that was thought about, like we have the ability to, to make a bunch of these. I want to test if this auto clicker, we place it down, you can see it's not receiving any power. Um, we can put a point on it and give it some power which is what we're gonna do. I have a point right here. I just wanna see, will it click this? And can we tell it what kind of clicks to do? Left or right click. And we can tell it whether to sneak or t sneak to toggle. Okay, interesting. I wonder if this would have worked on like a um, a different uh, map. Like if, it, if this would have worked on a, uh, like a GOG map or a Garden of Glass is what it's called, where you shift right click the ground to get cobble. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, so we have this, I do need to place dirt in it and I'm going to need this, my seed here. So I'm going to place that inside this, right? Oh wait, does it need, um, anything special to go in there? It needs, uh, oh, it needs the special farmland. Okay. So we just need a piece of dirt with inferior essence and we should, should be able to support this. Oh, does that not work either? Interesting. I was totally looking at the recipe wrong. It does require a hoe to be able to do it unless you had it tilled farmland. That was my brain not working properly. Okay, so now that we have the farmland, let's try this again. So we place this in here. We should be able to get our seed in here. 
And this is still affected by this, as you can see. It actually helps it go faster than normal. And now, will a clicker work on this? Let's give it some power. We don't need it to click incredibly fast, and I don't know, like, this is one click every 500 ticks by default, and I don't know if that needs anything. And we don't want it to uh, left click. That would be breaking things. We want it to right click, which is what it's already set to. So in re what, what should happen is when this fully grows, it should click this. That's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna set this to every 200 ticks. Make sure this has power. It does. Oh, we're getting there. I'm not clicking anything. Is it gonna work? 100%. And it has not clicked it. Two, can we shift? Okay, so this is not working. Now what I, I wonder, I wonder, because last time I tested this, this worked. Um, so the cyclic has an, uh, an, a user. Um, and I believe that this worked. Okay, so I, I put it on top and it worked. Okay, so if you have it on top of it, it will work. So that is a plus. After doing some testing, I didn't want to give up. So I placed it facing down now. Here's the settings in here. I have it every 50 ticks. Um, and it is basically right clicking on it. I think sneak right click would probably be funny because it would pop the plant out of the thing if it works anything like uh, like I do. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show it. I want, I want it to grow. It's also still being helped. Look at this. All right. How, how's it going to work? Now, it's not a 100% guaranteed drop, I don't think. It broke it. And there we go. We got the essence. Now, what would be a good thing to do? Maybe a hopper underneath it? It'd be funny. Like, that's kind of funny to set it up like this. But, I mean, I think a hopper would actually work. Like, and just have a hopper collect it automatically for us underneath here like if the item lands on the top it should hopper automatically without our magnet well our magnet's going to interfere but it should technically like break it and then you know go in the hopper all right there it goes and it broke it oh wow maybe maybe not <laughs> maybe if we close it up because that flung that thing way over there Maybe if we like cover it up, but then like, I don't think it needs light to grow, right? Right? It's a plant. Like what plant needs light to grow? 42. All right. No light. 50. Okay. So it still grows even like this. So technically if it breaks, it might flip through the, the side, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it and see if it fills that hopper. Okay. So you still have to kind of babysit it from time to time and you might lose a little with it falling off the island, but yeah, even closing it in is not gonna be helpful. It kind of shoots it everywhere, but that's okay. Anyways, I want to, uh, I think today's been a pretty pretty awesome episode. I wanna thank the sponsor, of course, of today's video. And that is going to go to the real Godzilla, like not the fake one, the real one. Thank you so much to Real Godzilla for being a Patreon and uh, showing your support. I really do appreciate it. Of course, guys, that is one of the best ways to support the videos that I make. And I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. Of course, that is honestly the number one best way to support is by watching the videos. But guys, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the amazing support on this series so far. And I hope to see you, of course, in the next episode. If you haven't subscribed already, what, 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 what are you doing? Like, why are you even here? I, okay, never mind. I, <laughs> If you enjoyed, of course, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, oh boy, <laughs> thanks for watching.